It is March 21st, Thursday morning. Looking at the pH indicator. Right off the bat, we'll start off with looking for our normal daily five points we watch. First one is right here, the start of the morning segment at 6.52. You can see the uh, pivot trend directional change market was down then to flat we hit the uh, window and we're getting this push up here now the next important time is right here at the end of the purple ph2 segment and that is coming in about 7 54 eastern time the next important one will be the end of the pH 3 segment right here and that's going to be at about 10.58, 10.59. So those are the three daily morning segments. Then we have two in the afternoon where we come back to the purple segment here in pH 2. That runs from 14.02 to about 1504 so the beginning and the end of that segment are where we're looking for a change in trend now we can also look for repeating colors patterns and trend patterns so what I'm normally I'm going to do is look at the uh, important overnight highs and lows well the first thing we have the important overnight high uh, it's like a three bar high that goes from uh, basically right around this start of this light purple segment. And that coincidentally happens to overlap the end of the morning pH 3 segment right here. So that's going to be an important time because we're now linked by our natural time point and also a time from uh, where a pivot came in. So you can see right here at the beginning of the uh, light purple over purple hour that's coinciding with the end of the dark purple morning segment so we're going to want to watch that little frame right there that's going to be really key today don't have an important low area have kind of a double low here dark blue over light blue and then yellow over light purple not real clean kind of a, not a real big swing you can monitor those and watch those but I would just concentrate on these five points that I've got marked out today